Wow, check this out guys. This is Pacific Biosciences stock price and we are 12% down in today's trading day and literally it tanked from the get go. And if those of you might know that the earnings call actually came out yesterday, so 29th of April 2021 and today's the 30th. And if we have a look at the five day chart, you can see right after the earnings call, we had a significant drop. So we're about 12% down now. Um, so what I'm basically going to do is talk about the earnings call and uh, give you the key points from that earnings call because I don't want to bore you with all the details. And then I'm going to talk a, a bit about some of the things I think are causing this drop in the stock price. So everyone, this is Underdog Investing. Thank you so much for watching this video. Uh, I'll be grateful if you can smash that like button and subscribe to the channel for future updates. So let's have a look at the six month chart first. You can see that in February, we had a anomaly. We had a significant rally. And the reason for this is I think that basically we had the uh, Big Ideas 2021 report by ARK Invest and that came out and they were extremely bullish on uh, genomics as a whole. So uh, this actually caused a significant rally in not just Pacific Biosciences, but also all the genomic stocks. They all went up like crazy. And obviously what happens after it goes up like crazy, it comes down as well uh, if there's nothing to back it up. So I think that was just an anomaly. So let's imagine we ignore that for a second. You can see that we've had a nice consolidation uh, between uh, $30 to $40 uh, in the past five months. So actually since the start of the year. And this is a very bullish sign because it shows that we've got some decent support around the $30 region. Um, you can see that uh, we had a significant rally in the past year or so of almost a thousand percent. And it's always good to see a consolidation. And like Kathy Wood says, um, a, co a long consolidation is always followed by a significant move move either upwards or downwards. And we're hoping in this case it's going to be upwards because we are investors of uh, Pacific Biosciences. Well, I am anyway. So let's talk a bit about the earnings call now. Um, we saw some decent things. So for me, it was great left, right and center. Uh, let's just jump into it. So basically we saw a, um, so Pacific Biosciences reported after the close of market on Thursday that its first quarter 2021 revenue rose 86% year over year, attributable to higher instrument revenue. Uh, we also saw that in Q1 of 2021, which is this quarter, we recognized total revenues of $29 million, which was compared to $15.6 million in Q1 of 2020, so just one year ago. So that's a significant increase in revenue, almost double. And this beat the analyst average estimate of $25.6 million. So the key thing was the instrument revenue. So instrument revenue was $14.9 million compared to only $4 million in Q1 of 2020. So almost a tripling uh, in terms of instrument revenue in just one year. Uh, and this was driven by multiple multi-instrument orders delivered to customers around the world. So you can see that we're really uh, expanding in terms of global uh, demand. Um, plenty of other good news. Pacific Biosciences CEO Christian Henry said the company's performance exceeded expectations. Uh, in terms of the uh, research and development, we saw an expense in Q1 of 2021 of $20.5 million, which is up 35% com uh, compared to the Q1 of 2020, uh, which was $15.3 million. And it's always good to see uh, a high growth company uh, like Pacific Biosciences with spending plenty of money on research and development because that's how they're going to grow. We don't want uh, to see them not spending their money. Obviously, we want them to spend it wisely, but actually spending the money on research and development is always a good sign. Um, and then you can see here. Uh, we've got $1.16 billion in sitting in cash, cash equivalents and investments. So that's a significant amount of cash for a company this size. I think it's around six, seven billion dollars in terms of market cap. So yeah, uh, well, $5.74 billion in market cap and it's got $1.16 billion in terms of cash. That's significant amount of cash. So we've also got uh, more good news. So Pacific Biosciences received $4.1 million 
from Invite uh, related to its collaboration and what is going on with the collaboration is they're basically developing a clinical whole genome sequencing platform so that's another piece of good news so that's pretty much the summary of the good stuff that's going on so why did the stock price go down so significantly when there's so much good news well so one of the reasons is if we have a look here so Susan Kim is the CFO she's a chief financial officer of Pacific Biosciences so Here's what she had to say. Kim said the firm expects second quarter revenues to be flat to moderately higher compared to Q1. So how depressing is that for a company that's got like so much of the market capitalization of Pacific Biosciences is uh, expectations of the future. So so much of the expectations, high expectations in terms of genomics is baked into this stock price. And so obviously people are expecting these kinds of companies, these very high growth companies to grow extremely quickly, uh, year over year, quarter over quarter. And the quickest way to just um, just get rid of that hype uh, is for the chief financial officer to say that the second quarter revenue is going to be flat. I mean, there's no better way to turn off the investors uh, who are who have uh, put money into this company it's just to say that it's not going to be growing. That's exactly the opposite of what we want and what we expect. Um, so I think that's one of the main reasons why we saw a decrease in the stock price is because of this um, depressing uh, projection into the future, uh, into the near future. In fact, Q2 saying that it's going to be flat in terms of revenues. Um, so under the terms of its deal with SoftBank, Pacific Biosciences incurred an interest expense of $1.8 million and the company expects to incur about $3.5 million in interest expense every quarter going forward until the notes either mature or are converted. So that's another thing that's not too great in terms of... Um, their deal with SoftBank. They're incurring quite a lot of interest. If you imagine three to four million dollars of interest uh, per quarter. Uh, so that's quite significant. Although they've got a significant uh, cash pile, so I wouldn't worry too much about that. Uh, this article by Motley Fool is really good. So they've uh, come up with a few of their own reasons why they think the stock price went down. Um, so it could be the financial results that are right in line with analyst estimates just won't cut cut it in today's market uh, in which richly valued equities are run of the mill. So that's basically the same thing as what I said. Um, there's very high expectations uh, for Pacific Biosciences. It's extremely richly valued and the market cap is uh, based on very high expectations in terms of its future growth. So you can't just meet expectations of the analyst you have to really destroy it you have to do so well that it crushes expectations because that's what people expect from a company like this and when you don't do that people become disappointed even if you're actually meeting expectations the other thing is to, to remember is that even after today's sell-off shares in pack bio have soared 742 percent in the past year and many investors have lofty expectations for the healthcare company considering its increasingly strong position in an industry that's ripe for growth. So despite this huge 10% sell-off which looks quite scary uh, when we look at it like this, it's actually tiny um, compared to the significant growth we've had over the past year. So if you look at last year we were just at $3, we're still up about 790%. So Actually, a 10% drop is nothing compared to um, if we look at the long term uh, of this stock. Um, yeah, so those are some of the reasons why the stock price went down. Another thing they mentioned is that uh, possibly it could be that uh, just today's just not a good day for market the, uh, the stock market. Um, as of this writing, all three major US market indexes are down uh, and PACB may be getting dragged along with the rest of the market. But I don't think that's true. Um, if we have a look here, if we have a look at CRISPR share price, I'm pretty sure this is up actually. Well, actually it's down almost 1%, but nothing like Pacific Biosciences. I think this is something that's isolated to the earnings report. And it's definitely, personally, I think it's related to the uh, high expectations that investors have of the company 
coupled with the CFO Susan Kim's uh, statements regarding the second quarter. If there's not going to be much growth, investors aren't going to be excited about this company. Uh, that's the bottom line. Um, but that being said, I'm still holding my shares. I own Pacific Biosciences and I'm, I'm going to be holding for the long term. And I was going to summarize my thoughts and what I'm planning to do, but uh, I couldn't have said it any better than what uh, Motley Fool ended with. So that's what I'm going to end this video with. So daily movements in the prices of securities don't always make a whole lot of sense. And instead of looking for precise reasons for these daily changes, investors would do better to remember that patience is one of the keys to earning above average returns in the long run. Regardless of the reasons behind Pacific Biosciences losses on the market today, the company's prospects remain intact and for investors sold on the company's long-term master plan, resisting the temptation to sell seems like the right move. So that is a perfect way to end the video. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed it, I'll be so grateful if you can smash that like button, subscribe to the channel for future updates. I'd love to hear your thoughts in the comment section down below. What do you think about the Q1 2021 earnings call for Pacific Biosciences? And do you hold any stock? Uh, are you planning to buy, sell? Let me know what you're planning to do in the comment section down below. And if you found it useful in any way, please do share this video with your friends. And thank you so much again. I will see you in the next video.